dead spirits of Bogmal. I have come to commune with thee. Reveal to me your secrets and your... Puddles. I despise Puddles. I curse you, Puddles. I curse you. I curse thee! I curse thee, Puddles! Yeah, starting with us. But it's what I do. It's all you do. Boom! It's my my lady darling. Boom! Boom! Hello, Trafford. Hello, Dylan. Ah! So, what are you watching? Nothing. Until you learn to stop scaring, you're banned from spending time with the rest of us. You can't ban me from hanging out with you. No, but we can choose to stop hanging out with you. Yep. Bye. Farewell. Oi. Hey, Dylan. Should I go have some fun and leave those losers to it? I have a point. Sometimes you scare me too, Esme. Friends shouldn't scare friends. That's rule number two of friendship. What's rule number one? Never buddy up with the crocodile. Even though they show their teeth, it doesn't mean they're smiling. Look, I don't need you lot anyway. I've got friends on Ghostly Book. Real friends. How many of your Ghostly Book friends have you actually met? Does it matter? I'm a ghost. I'm supposed to be scary. Oh, no. Please do come in. What a wonderful place you have here. I can almost smell the history. <clears throat> That'll be the dry rot. Sorry, who are you? Poor child. You don't have a television. Uh, no, I prefer real life. The picture quality's better. Ah! It's Damien Davenport. The Damien Davenport. Not the Damien Davenport! Ah! Who's Damien Davenport? Mr Davenport. You made it. I'm rich. I'm richer. I have a swimming pool. We've kind of got a swimming pool too, Mr Davenport. I thought the last time we checked, the water was green and there was a dead badger floating in it. Nah, for sure. Tell us right This is Damien Davenport, top TV ghost hunter. And he's here to film me show. He's filming mostly haunted in our castle. <laughs> Fair my blood. Don't pass up. Don't pass up. Uh, Rich. Mm. Hmm? What? Are you out of your mind? Why don't you speak to us first? What, so you can talk me out of it like you always do? <laughs> Dream on. Mr Davenport. I must explore. Circle the vibrations before my crew arrives. I'm like a sponge for spectral energy. <laughs> what am I, hat stand? Oh, well, you're the one playing a scary vampire. See, people like to be scared. True, but the people coming to see my film are choosing to see The Bride of Spatula. But maybe being a scary ghost and having loads of friends just don't go together. But being scary is what ghosts do. It's like having a pet dog and telling it not to bark. Gabe isn't scary. Yeah, but Gabe's an idiot. He was no better a human than he is a ghost. And that's what's driving people away, Esme. Look, Gabe's got loads of positive qualities. He's kind, he's sensitive, oh, he's good-looking. Danny. Look, the point is, being scary isn't the be-all and end-all. But then what do I do? I like having friends, but I absolutely love being a ghost. Well, it might be a crazy idea, but maybe it's time to retire from scaring, or just do it to people who enjoy it. I'll make a souffle out of your blood. <laughs> well, terrifying. The ghosts. Poor, poor ephemeral beings. Rich, do we really want everyone to know that ghosts live here? Look, everybody who watches Most Haunted thinks the ghosts are special effects and that Davenport's a fake. And a show off. Oh, I can't think why. Look, but all the places that he visits become massive tourist attractions. Do you think he can put us on the tourist map? Look, if Gabe and Esme end up on camera, everyone's going to think they're actors. What'd you say? Come on. I don't know. Please. Come on. Pretty please. Do I need to beg now? No, 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 don't beg. Yeah, I thought so. Look, if you really think it'll help the castle, then I'm in. But I just hope you know what you're doing. Ha, I always know what I'm doing. Ah, right and key. Oh, Mr. Davenport, this is Gabe, one of our ghosts. 
Don't worry, Gabe. I've told him all about you. Good. It's okay, Gabe. Just do something ghostly. Come on. Go on. Leave that shot. You can do it. Come on, Gabe. Woo! I'm a ghost. Beware. My ghostly hands. What are you trying to pull here? What do you mean? Ghosts are scary, otherworldly. This very ordinary boy, peculiar dress sense aside, couldn't scare his way out of a paper bag. Who says ghosts have to be scary? I do. And if you're a real ghost, you'd know that. So you think I'm a human? As human as I am. Maybe not quite as handsome. Yeah. Ah, he's only having a bit of fun. He's only a laugh, eh, Gabe? He's not really a ghost. No. No, that's me. No dead people here. <laughs> but if you want to see a real scary ghost, uh, you come to the right place. You won't believe what's happened. There's a ghost hunter visiting and he thinks I'm... What is... Gibby! Gibby? I missed you! You saw me less than an hour ago. You're the bestest brother a girl could ever ask for. Tell me what you with the place. Doesn't it make you want to squeeze? <laughs> There's an unnatural coldness in this room. That breeze. Could it be the long dead breath of a wandering phantom? I can't believe we've got another huge celebrity in the castle. And I can't believe you're actually impressed by this great big show off. I can't believe our castle's going to be on TV. And I can't believe that this whole thing isn't going to end in disaster. Oh, I sense so much pain here. So much sorrow. My boots filling with ectoplasm. Wow. If he's like this before the cameras get here, imagine what it'd be like later. I bet he's even cooler. I'm going to ask for his autograph. <laughs> I was wrong about the Phantom. The breeze was coming through a gap in that window. Yeah, we've been meaning to get that double glazed. Anyways, <laughs> could I have your autograph, please, Mr. Davenport? Do you have any idea how many times a day I get asked for my autograph? Mm. Sorry, I, I didn't mean to. Yeah. <laughs> Come along now. My TV crew will be here within the hour. Awesome! I'm going to add this to my autograph collection. Since when do you have an autograph collection? Since now. You're looking at it. <laughs> Woo! Tom to talk to Esme. She keeps making me jump. It's giving me aerophasia. Ever what? <laughs> Hiccups. Yep. Look, you're the only one who can get her to do the scare. You're her best friend. Was her best friend? I know Esme can be a pain sometimes, don't get me wrong. But you don't want to fall out with her. Plus, if you do, Davenport will leave and the castle won't get on TV. What do you think, Trafford? Oh. All right. Fine. Yeah. All right. All right, I'll talk to her, but don't expect me to be her best friend straight away. <laughs> Drink up. Here's mine. Dylan's got something to ask. Oh, Yay! Two of my most favourite friends in the whole wide world. This is... This isn't you. What's happening here? Would you like a cupcake? I baked them myself. Rich wants to know if you can be scary for us. Oh, I've turned over a new leaf. You said I couldn't hang out with you if I was scary. It's my nice come at a bad time, but the castle's going to be on TV and we really need you to be ghosty. I'm sorry, Richie Poo, but I'll do anything you need. I just don't do scary. Let's have a Dolly's tea party. Yeah, um, bruv, I'm going to, uh, I'm going to leave you to it. Bye, friends! That's Princess Sparkle. This is Lady Sweet Pea. And that's Roderick the Rascal. Be very careful with him. He's a very... Very naughty boy. It's me. What's happening here? We're having a Dolly's tea party. A zombie tea party, I believe, but this isn't you. The old you would have been all... I'm Princess Sparkle and I'm going to eat your brains! Brains! No! Princess Sparkle would never eat brains. She's a vegan. What did that mean, Dylan, make you do? Why don't we go and have some fun? We can have a custard fight or see what's the biggest thing we can flush down the toilet. We can always try Jimmy's duvet again. I thought you wanted me to be more like this. Yeah, but I, I did, but and this is just creepy. Well, get used to it, BFF, because this is the new Esme. <laughs> so, let's recap. Davenport thinks that Gabe is a human. And we can't rely on Esme to be scary now she's apparently turned into Tinkerbell. So, in short, we're ghostless. But we still need to try and find a way to prove the castle is haunted to give Davenport what he's expecting. What about the Potter guys? We can bag some pots and pans and uh, get that bad boy out of the cellar. He wants to scare his viewers, not give him a heart attack. That's a good point. I need more ideas, guys. Hit me. We make a cake shaped like a ghost and then say, that's what we thought you wanted, and then eat the cake. 
we release a lion. A lion? Into the castle and try and scare him out that way. Or we tell Davenport this whole thing was a huge mistake and call the whole thing off. Who's with me? Boring. Cake, lion, fake. That's it. Look, we'll fake a haunting and we can be ghosts. But I am already a ghost. Yeah, I know that. That's why you're going to be the human pretending to be scared by the ghosts. So you want me, who's a ghost, to pretend to be a human who are scared of ghosts who aren't really ghosts? He's got it. It's quite simple, isn't it, really? I think I preferred Gabe's lion idea. We go live at 8 o'clock. We'll kick off with your intro to camera upstairs in the library. Then we'll do a walk and talk with the owners. Make sure you get my good side. Remind me, which side is that again? The front one, obviously. Why would anyone in the right minds want to hide this? Mr. Davenport, all set for the filming? We will be, if your ghosts ever turn up. Well, I can assure you that ghosts are never that far away in this place. Mm. Uh, speaking as an ordinary human, I find it all quite terrifying living here. My goodness! There they are. We are the ghosts of Bogmore Castle. You will never banish us. We belong here. Ooh. And you, we are really scary. Oh. <coughs> Look how realistic they are. Who is the one they call Mr. Gamford? We have crossed over to commune noon with you. Ooh. Ah. What were you stepping, you big footed clots? I don't have big feet. It was your chain that got in the way. Take a notice of these imposters, Mr. Davenport, for I am the real ghost of Pokemon Castle. He is. I can vouch for that ticket from a real go... I mean, human. I mean, I'm so confused. Oh. Do you think I'm stupid? Hmm? Well... Uh, no, no. No, sir. Do you think you're the first people to attempt to lure me somewhere, claiming to have resident ghosts, in an attempt to get on television so as to put their place onto the tourist map? But this castle really is haunted. Then what's all this, Hineda? Hmm? Oh, see, I told you it never worked. Look, it's really complicated, yeah? Try me. Well, our resident scary ghost has decided to not be a scary ghost anymore. It is true, my lord. She is upstairs playing with dollies. Dollies? <laughs> Ghosts don't play with dollies. Well, she realised that being scary made her lonely, so she's trying to change. <sighs> Precisely one hour, I'm going to be doing a live television broadcast. My viewers are going to be expecting this show to be broadcast from a castle inhabited by real actual scary ghosts. And if you can't provide me with some evidence that this place is haunted by the time we go to air, then I promise you that I should expose you as the charlatans I'm starting to suspect that you are. See if that puts you on the tourist map. Paul, Brenda, shall we do a run-through, hmm? I thought we were quite convincing, you know? You, 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 well, you, she's you, 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 Esme just doesn't want to be scary anymore. I don't even think Master Dylan can turn her around. We've lost her. Just like Master Jimmy lost his trousers sliding down the banister. Oh, that still gives me nightmares, even that. I knew this plan was doomed from the start. But it's my best chance to be a TV celeb. I've been working on my best celebrity smile as well. You need some crackers with that cheese, girls. Hey, where are you going? To check if Esme's OK. Maybe if she talks to another girl, then she might come around. You, girly chat. <laughs> no offence, Cupcake, but I don't really think girly chat's are really your thing. Uh, just because I like to wear jeans and get my hands dirty doesn't mean I'm not in touch with my feminine side. Cupcake. <laughs> so, uh, what do we do now? There's only one option left. The unthinkable. Demolish the castle. What? Quickly rebuild it somewhere else? No. Before Davenport even finds out? The poltergeist. <sighs> Humans are scared of everything. Roller coasters, ghosts, well, even mice. Mice? Don't be so ridiculous. Uh. <laughs> 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 I knew it was you. Yeah, he'd be scared.
inside of the mouse. <laughs> Mr. Davenport, Whoa. careful. Having your makeup done, I see. Very observant of you. I thought it was only the females of the modern era wore makeup. This is something I can help you with. I thought it'd be nice to make conversation. Human to human. It's been a while since I've been just reading this newspaper like an ordinary 21st century person. It's good to keep up on events in the human world, of which I'm part of, obviously. I see David Beckham has purchased a new hat. Hmm. It's great to be alive, everybody, isn't it? I love waking up to the smell of flowers in the morning. Makes me feel alive. Taking a deep breath. Eating a well-prepared meal. Such things make me glad to be alive. It's, it's the little things that I miss if I were a ghost. Even like sweating, taking a bath. You like sweating? I'd miss that if I were not such a ordinary human. Yes, but you're not such an ordinary human, are you? You're an exceedingly strange person. Quite the weirdest one I've ever met. Now go away. I have a television show to prepare for. Careful, that's expensive. Sorry. Sorry. Oh. Hey, Esme. Oh, I guess it's tough being a ghost. Is this another attempt to get me to be scary for that TV show? We just want to check you're okay. Look, being dead must get lonely sometimes. What would you two know about being a ghost? I once played a short-sighted ghost detective in a flop TV pilot called the Spectacle Spectre Inspector. And I just found out exactly how hard it is to be scary. Being nice is way tougher. You really love scaring, don't you? It's what I'm good at. Good? You're amazing. Well, it takes some serious skill. A lot more skill than I've got, apparently. Well, I know that if anyone tried to change who I am, I'd tell them where to get off. Unless it was for a part. I'll do it like your ex. <laughs> Jenny, your blood's ready. Oh, sorry, guys. Must feast before dawn. Bye! If I was you, I'd make yourself scarce. We're gonna wait the portal, guys. You can't do what? that. Yeah, the politics guys is completely unpredictable. What choice do we have? Davenport needs a ghost. Esme's gone nice and Gabe's gone human. Oh, potty boy, there's only ghosts left around her. Stand back. Here, potty guysty guysty. Come on, Poltergeist, come on, scare us! <laughs> 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 Does the Poltergeist have a cold? <laughs> I think Poltergeist do. <laughs> 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 Great. Look, the poet guys was our last hope. Now Davenport's going to humiliate us all live on TV. We're doomed. Let's just get over and done with, yeah? I am Wonder Mouse. I am a more dynamic Diego. I am Wonder Mouse, saviour of the meek. No, you're an idiot. I've also got a catchphrase. Nice to see you. <laughs> oh, I've got a catchphrase for you. I'm Diego, and I'm completely ridiculous. No. Catchy, huh? It's Wonder Mouse. <laughs> My kite's cool. <laughs> what a hero. Welcome, spirit fans, to another edition of Mostly Haunted with me, Damien Davenport. This week, 
We come to you live from Bogmore Castle in Northern Ireland, a country rich in mystery and magic. With me now are the young owners of the castle, Rich, Jimmy, Gabe and Kate. Yeah, Kate doesn't actually live here. Yeah, she's more of a hanger-on. <laughs> Can you tell me a little bit more about why you brought me here today? Well, basically, our castle is haunted. Really haunted. Yeah, we got ghosts coming out of our ears. <laughs> Strange, because in all the hours I've been here, I've yet to find any evidence of any haunting. Perhaps it's so haunted that even ghosts are scared. <laughs> or maybe uh, your ghost hunting powers aren't working today, or perhaps you never actually had any at all. But the castle still is a great place to visit. I mean, we're taking bookings for weddings, birthday parties, tours. Let's explore, shall we? And then maybe we shall discover how truly haunted this place really is. As I suspected, there's no evidence of ghosts here either. There's not a single hint of the restless dead in this place. Personally, I don't think you'd be able to spot a ghost if there was one right under your nose. Even if there was one standing right in front of you. I may be a failure as a person, but at least I'm not a failure as a ghost hunter. Ladies and gentlemen at home, I must apologise. Sometimes here on Mostly Haunted, we get letters from charlatans making false claims. And I believe that this is one such... What's going on? Esme. Is that your plumber? <laughs> Mr. D, brace yourself. <laughs> it's about to get funky. Cool. Finally, a ghost. See, I told you. Who are you, creature of the other world? Tell me, Spirit, what is it that you want? Oh, nothing. I just want to scare you. She's back. That's my girl. <laughs> OK. So I'm not a great superhero. But I did make this cake. There'll be something I can do with it. Oh, I know. Oh, Roxy! Uh... So easy to find out. We didn't get any of that. He jumped on me. Again. But it was really scary. I mean, really scary. <laughs> <laughs> well, not all of us can be as unfrightening as my brother. Him? He's a ghost. But he's rubbish. But he's the best at being my big brother. And I've been on, mate. Gabe, yeah, don't ever change. Are you, Esme? Well, that's my car. I best go and see what I can salvage out of this ghost train wreck. Didn't you ever get scared, Mr. Davenport? I live my life in the shadows. I've seen things that you could barely comprehend, from the strange to the bizarre. No, it would take an awful lot to terrify me. What is that thing? It's unnatural, it's terrifying. Keep it away from me! It's my baby dragon, Mr. Davenport. We just want to say hello before you go. Adios, <laughs> 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 But it's only traveled. See ya. We're on the way out. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> so, the castle got on TV and nobody saw any ghosts. Sounds like I went all round. And our secret's safe. I knew you'd come back. It's what I'm best at, right? Hey, what's a few scares between friends? In that case. Uh oh. Everybody run! Come on, it's me! <laughs>